OK. So we're going to talk about unit vectors, which just like when we talked about the unit circle, since the unit circle has a radius of 1, our unit vectors are going to have a magnitude of 1. So when looking at a unit vector, which we'll denote as our vector u in this case, let's say we have a vector. All right. Um, now to find the unit vector when given a vector, what we're simply going to do is take our vector and divide it by the magnitude of that vector. Okay. So you might want to look at this and say, uh, yes. Yes. Vector v, let's say we have a vector. Um, let's see, what did, uh, what did I write down? Let's say we have a vector negative 2, 5. Right? So that looks something like this. Negative 2, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? That's vector v. And I say, what is the unit vector of v? Find the unit vector. Well, we can do the unit, we can do the Pythagorean theorem. Let's do it. Let's find the magnitude of v now, right? Let's do a little practice. So if I want to find the magnitude of v, the magnitude of v, remember, is the square root of v1 squared plus v2 squared, right? You could do p over you could do p minus q, right? But we figured out that p1 minus q1 is v1. And P or Q, I'm sorry, Q1 minus P1 is V1, and Q2 minus P, P2 is V2. A lot of V2s, V2s, Qs. So let's just take our V1, which is negative 2, and square it. So we have negative 2 squared plus 5 squared. So that's going to equal 4 plus 5 is square root of 29. Now, is the magnitude of V the square? Since that's equal to the square root of 29, is that equal to 1? Is that equal to 1? No. So therefore, what you notice then is this is not a unit vector, right? So I say, hey, given my vector v, find the unit vector. The unit vector has to have a magnitude of 1, right? So what we do is we take u equals, we take our v, which is negative 2 over 5, and we divide it by our magnitude, which is the square root of 29. So guess what? Now that is your unit vector. And you might say, well, how do you know that has a magnitude of 1, right? Because does that look like that? those are going to have a magnitude of 1? Uh, I don't know, but let's go and check it out. So what about if I wanted to find the magnitude of u? We know the magnitude of a unit vector has to be 1, right? Because that's the whole definition of a unit vector. So let's take the magnitude of these two formulas. So it's going to be the square root of negative 2 divided by the square root of 29 squared plus 5 divided by the square root of 29 squared. Then this ends up being negative 2 squared is 4 over 29 plus 25 over 29 ends up equaling the square root of 29 over 29. Is the square root of 29 over 29, is that going to leave us 1? So therefore, yes. Can you guys, guys now confirm that when given a vector, if you take the vector divided by its magnitude, as I do here, that provides you with now a unit vector? You guys see that? So you, that's it, the square root of? You just take your vector, okay. find the magnitude, and then take your vector and divide it by Will the magnitude. Always be equal to one? If, as long as you follow everything you're supposed to do, yeah. Then you found the unit vector. That's the definition. The definition of a unit vector is when given a vector divided by its magnitude. And that resultant vector, u, is going to be your unit vector, which will the magnitude will equal 1, always. Always. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any questions on that? 